For today's video, we're doing a regular good old fashioned squishy makeover. And my series is of course inspired by Mariah Elizabeth's squishy makeover series. I don't really have much more to say in my intro. So let's just get started with my makeovers for this episode. Okay, so up first we have this Corgi in a donut. He mysteriously does not have a body, but he does have a head. That is honestly quite squishy. I would probably rate this an eight out of 10 for squish value. It's just a little bit on the small side and you can't really get a good grip around it, but it is slow rising. The first essential step for any makeover is of course a sanding. I know from experience, if you don't give the squishy a good sanding, it will be a mess. After that, I'm trimming off any of the excess seams that I feel like will stick up after the paint is on it. And more recently with squishy makeovers, I've been using my puffy paint as a first coat on the squishy to make sure it's nice and smooth before I take out my white matte paint and give it a nice white base coat. This squishy was quite absorbent and it did take a few coats of white paint before it was finally totally white and ready for some color. I mixed up some of this banana yellow color and painted it on the squishy's flotation device in order to turn it into, you guessed it, a banana. Dipping into this vanilla yellowy color for the corgi, I decided to make this corgi into an ice cream scoop. The banana would be on the bottom and the ice cream scoop would be on the top. Can't forget about the little corgi arms. He just needs his paws. Up next, I'm taking out this pink color, neon plum for the tongue of the corgi. I don't know if you can tell, but he's sticking out his tongue quite a bit. It's actually quite excessive. He has got a really large tongue. For the nose, I'm taking out this brown color, just a regular chocolate brown. And I'm also filling in the mouth lines, the snout. I think that's what it is. I made the line a little thicker inside the mouth because his mouth is just hanging wide open. And we're also using the chocolate brown color again on the top of this flotation device. I don't know why I keep calling it a flotation device. It's more like a pool floaty or a banana boat floaty. As I look at this, it starts to look more and more like Charlie Brown. Did I just accidentally create the dog version of Charlie Brown? Possibly, it was an accident, but wow, it's the only thing I can think of right now. This really looks like Charlie Brown. While I let the whites of Charlie's eyes dry, I added some white highlights to his nose, his tongue, and the drippy chocolate on his banana boat. Charlie got some very nice eyebrows. He is a well-groomed dog. And an excessive amount of blush. I kind of really enjoy the amount of blush I've been adding to squishies recently. Uh, this might be my new thing, maybe, I don't know. For the insides of the ears, I decided to add a chocolate brown color to the left ear and a strawberry color to the right ear, as well as some whipped cream to the top. Because again, I am trying to make this look like Charlie is an ice cream scoop. And if he was a Neapolitan ice cream scoop, he would have some chocolate to the left and some strawberry to the right. So his eye colors are strawberry ice cream on the right and chocolate ice cream on the left eye. For some finishing touches, I added some eyelashes and of course, sparkles to the inside of the eyes. I feel like when you add the sparkles, it just brings everything together and he starts to look like a real excited pup. Here is the before and the after for this corgi. Overall, I think he did turn out pretty cute. I like his eyes and I'm really excited to move on to the next two squishies, a corgi family. If you were thinking that I was doing that, you guessed it. I had a couple of comments on my shop with me video asking me to do a corgi family and I thought that was such a cute idea that I had to do it immediately. These squishies are the same, but which will I paint first? Uh, this one, it is a slightly darker blue color and I'm taking out this broken donut because well, this corgi is missing a boat, a banana flavored boat. 
It's very important to his family that he has one. I'm taking out this tacky glue, which is very hard to open. Oh. Really hurt my hands, had to run it under hot water until it finally opened, and I was able to glue the donut back together, as well as the corgi to the donut. He did have to be rubber banded to it for a little bit, but he's okay now. To make sure this corgi is permanently stuck to his banana boat, he is going to be uh, secured in with some puffy paint. And then I'm giving a nice white matte base coat to this corgi so that he has no color, he's completely white, and then I can add colors more easily. As I explain that the corgi is on a banana boat, I start to laugh and I don't know why, I just find it really funny. Anyway, we're dipping into the banana color and we are creating the banana boat. He's, he's floating on a banana. After that, I'm dipping into this chocolate brown color. This is actually the same chocolate brown color that was on the inside of Charlie's left ear. Do I have your attention yet? Are we getting where I'm going? Are you picking up what I am putting down? No. What I'm trying to say is I'm creating a set of corgis. A corgi family. A corgi family that will be a Neapolitan ice cream scoop set. This corgi that is also a chocolate scoop of ice cream, of course, is sitting in some hot fudge and his eyebrows are a little bit thick. He went a little too crazy with the eyebrow pencil this morning. <coughs> Dipping into the vanilla color and here's where I realized I made a slight mistake. I added this triangle to the corgi and I didn't really like it. I don't know, it wasn't sitting well with my soul. So I painted the other ear and decided to cover it up. It just, it was better that he was just a plain scoop of ice cream. I took out my white puffy paint and added a nice swirl in the shape of a on top of the head. I added some pupils for the eyes, and while that was drying, I also took out some white paint to add some highlights on this pup. I decided to make his eyes a chocolate brown color, and last but not least, I added the glimmers to this corgi puppy's eyes. Here is the before and the after for the chocolate ice cream scoop in the Neapolitan ice cream. So we have vanilla and chocolate, and next we have to create strawberry. Taking out the third corgi in this corgi family, and this, I guess it's not a donut, but it was the only thing I had in a similar shape to a donut. I think this is supposed to be actually a cookie. It's got some weird chocolate sauce on top that I had to slowly peel off. I also had to sand some of it away for this banana boat that the corgi is sitting on. The banana boat is very important to the corgi family. Every corgi gets a banana boat, period. I'm using my scissor to cut off any extra squishy seams on this corgi, and then I'm taking out my white matte paint and giving this a nice white base coat. Once that's all white, we're ready for our banana boat color. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Except this corgi's boat is a little weird. It's not like the other boats. It's all bumpy and it doesn't have the smooth donut texture to it. And I thought, eh, let me play that to my advantage. Maybe this corgi is a little weird. Maybe he stands out in some way. But then I got distracted because I was painting this corgi to be a scoop of strawberry ice cream, and then I slowly realized that it looked like a pig. This doesn't look like a corgi at all. It looks like a pig on a barrel of hay. Oh my goodness, I can't unsee it. What am I going to do? Absolutely nothing. While I would have really enjoyed turning this corgi into a pig on a barrel of hay, it was honestly too late in the process. I had already made two other corgis. I really wanted this guy to be part of the corgi gang, and I couldn't afford to make him into a pig like I so desperately wanted. Like her family, Miss Piggy is sitting, of course, in some chocolate sauce. While the whites of the eyes were drying on Miss Piggy, <sighs> 
I really gotta stop calling her that. I added some highlights to the chocolate sauce and her nose. I also tried to make her eyebrows more delicate this time and added some whipped cream to the top of her head. Since this corgi is sitting on an oddly shaped banana, I decided to make the eyes look a little bit more awkward than the other two corgis' eyes. Her eyes are facing in, they look a little bit cross-eyed, and she just has a really derpy, stupefied look to her, and I think it's quite funny. Here is the before and the after for our strawberry corgi, and of course, here's the before and after for all three of the corgis. They are kind of sentient scoops of ice cream, right? Vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. A corgi family of ice cream scoops. I actually am very happy with this one. I really love when I do sets and I really like when they have a cool theme that goes together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for another one. Bye! Hey.